Thank you, Alan. An update now to a fatal crash involving no seat belt. You may remember last year, two teenagers died and two others were injured when their car slammed into a tree near Mount Vernon. Investigators say no one was wearing seat belts. Today, the driver, 17-year-old Hannah Reed, was arrested and charged in the accident. She faces two counts of manslaughter, one count of reckless driving, one assault, third degree, one speeding, 25 miles per hour over the limit, and one count of improper passing. Waylon Lang and Cedric James died in the crash. They both played basketball for Central Dell High School. Already this year, 79% of dead state troopers investigated have been from people not wearing seatbelts. As News 5's Jacqueline Quinn reports, there are many excuses given when it comes to buckling up. People have survived severe crashes, as you see in these videos, but the odds that you could walk away are low. Nearly every single press release we've received from the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency in the last two weeks about a traffic fatality, the occupant inside the vehicle was not wearing a safety belt. Here we have an evergreen man not wearing a safety belt, a Daphne man not wearing a safety belt, and two people in Chinchula not wearing a safety belt. But consider these deaths in light of the fact that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says about 95% of travelers in Alabama actually buckle up. We tested the stats on our own. We counted 200 cars in Mobile. The average was close to the state's, about 80%. Mobile County Sheriff's deputies say they've heard the excuses before. We talked to one driver who was pulled over for not wearing his seatbelt, who actually had his life saved by one. Um, they said, I broke my collarbone in four places because of the seatbelt. But if I wouldn't have, I probably would have broke my neck and died. Lieutenant Richard Canton says he's heard the same reasons over and over. It's uncomfortable. Windows break, they go out the window because they don't have the seatbelt on. It may trap me in case of a fire or cause drowning. According to the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration, only one in 200 accidents involve fire or water. Airbags have improved. Whether it be uh, seatbelts or airbags, every little bit counts. The fine for not wearing your seat belt is $25, but whatever the reason, seat belts can increase survival by 50% and only takes a few seconds to use. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. The U.S. Department of Transportation says people not wearing a seat belt are 30 times more likely to be ejected from a vehicle during a crash, and out of those ejected, three out of four do not survive. 